class of 2013. Um, my favorite part about being at Cal High is um, I, I think that there's like such a great diversity. I think everyone's like really cool. Everyone's really nice. If you ever need help with anything, there's always someone who's there to help you. Um, I have some of my best friends at the school. part about Cal High is that um, it's just a very warm and welcoming atmosphere whenever you walk on campus if you make eye contact with someone who doesn't even know you, they'll still smile at you. So I really like how friendly everyone is with each other even if they've never seen each other. Uh, my most memorable moment of Cal High would probably be the first day of senior year because now that I look back on it I see how much has changed in the past 10 months and I remember seeing your sunrise
in the quad several fights that day. It's quite entertaining to see the entire the entire suit body running all the way across the campus, just watching drama. It was, it was quite memorable. Quite funny. One of the most memorable teachers here at Cal I have to be Leonard Navius, my freshman PE teacher. And also uh, JV football coach I played. Um, he taught me some very valuable life lessons. Like take pride in the way you look. It's a defensive day. Tuck your shirt in, defensive mentality. No lows today. That's what he started. He started a whole thing of lows throughout our entire class. Now we're we're all just lows in his eyes. Yeah, the thing I'm looking forward to most about getting out of here would be to live on my own, to do my own thing, and not be told what to do, and have certain deadlines, and just do my own thing. Hi, I'm Brian from Andola, and my favorite thing about Cal High was seeing my friends every day. My most memorable moment here at Cal High would probably be when I got accepted to San Francisco State. Uh, my favorite teacher here at Cal High would have to be Coach Matthews because he was a real influential person in my life, being my football coach and teaching me many things. Uh, I'm looking forward to enjoying the next four years at San Francisco State and graduating. Uh, majoring in kinesiology. I want to be a physical therapist. I'm an Peterson. Peterson. Um, I'm a senior here at Cal High, class of 2013. The part about Cal High would have to be the people I've known most of them since middle school and some of them even before that. So the most memorable moment at Cal High would have to be the senior ball. It was fun because all my friends were there and I was sweating a lot. My favorite teacher at Cal High would have to be talking to the students. So she treats you like college students and lets you do it. So clean. Delaney Rayburn is definitely a good part of God. The most memorable moment about Cal High would have to be meeting all my new friends. Uh, I'm looking forward to DVC, getting my classes right, just getting new responsibilities because Cal High is kind of like you're a little kid when you step out of the you actually a grown adult. You got own things to do. My favorite teacher was Leonard Matthews because he always had your back no matter what, and he would always believe that you were the better person. Hi, I'm Delaney and I'm a senior, and the best part about Cal High is the social aspect and all of the friends that I've made. My most memorable thing about Cal High was junior prom and senior ball because it was super fun and awesome. My favorite teacher was Mr. Mason because he inspired me to get my scuba diving license. After I graduate, I'm looking forward to going to Kansas and majoring in journalism. Hi, I'm Locke Tran. I'm graduating senior class of 2013. My favorite part about Cal High is all the friends I've made and how nice the people are at this campus and how diverse we are. My most memorable moment at Cal High was all the times I got to play League of Legends with Alex Shuri. We do a few all night. A lot of favorite teachers at Cal High, but Mr. England, without him, I wouldn't be able to make this video right now. And of course, how could I forget Mr. Matthews? He's been very inspiring to my life. How, taught me how to stop loafing. I'm also looking forward to meeting new people in college. I'm going to San Jose State University and uh, I can't wait to be at our high school reunion and see all you guys. Hi, I'm Lena Kusa and I'm a senior. My favorite part about Cal High is I like all the friends I've made and it's really sweet. The most memorable part of Cal High is when the juniors meet the seniors in Powder Puff last year. Woo! Mrs. Siegel is my favorite teacher because she's really sweet and nice and she Cares, she cares about us, like we're one of her kids. And dancing with her this year has been so much fun and she's taught me a lot. High school, I'm looking forward to going to Davis and I'm really excited to meet new people and come back and see all the What's up Cal High? I'm Justin Weirwan. I'm a senior at Cal High. The best part about Cal High is definitely the people. There's a lot of diversity here in this campus. Definitely meeting Lock Tran, Grace and Anna I think my favorite teacher would probably be Mr. Degrees just because he is so passionate about the subject and he's able to teach us a lot about it. Uh, I'll be attending Pepperdine University next fall and I'm definitely looking forward to meeting all the new people, going to a new place, and... I'm Nika, and I'm in the class of 2013. Um, what I like most about Cal High are the, my friends here. I like the facility, like it's really nice. The teachers, especially when you get to be senior, they're really helpful, and um, I like the Cal High spirit. 
Okay, so the most memorable moment, memorable moment I'd say is when me and the cheer team went to Florida for nationals. Like, it was like we did the best that we could, and it was really fun, just like going to Disneyland and performing with them. And it was a great way to spend my last year cheering in high school. So my favorite teachers would definitely be Madam Golden. She's just really helpful, and she, in addition to being a great French teacher, she opens up like her students' eyes to all the issues in the world, look at things with a more open mind. And Miss Dillman, she is really like strict, but it's good because she makes us work hard, and you have to earn like your grade. There's no shortcuts to anything, and she just taught me how to work hard. So after high school, I'm looking forward to being a student at UCSB. Um, I'm looking forward to be part of the cheer team there because I'm on it, <laughs> and um, just being part of the real world and seeing like what that is outside of high school and like having a job and not relying on anyone, like not relying on your parents and just being independent and seeing like how well I can like take care of myself. And yeah. Hi, I'm Rich England. I teach over here at Cal High, and I just wanted to say something about this senior class. Um, as it turns out, I'm going to be retiring this year, and I was kind of hoping that the year would go really nicely so that in my retirement I would think, oh, what a great job. I really picked the right vocation. And I have to say that the senior class came through. This is one of the favorite classes I've ever had to deal with. The kids, even the bad kids, are pretty good, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So anyways, I just wanted to thank you guys and uh, tell you what a wonderful year I've had and I'll remember this, uh, you know, for the few years I have left to live. Anyway, adios. So, I'm Mrs. Fitch and I'm just uh, gonna give you a little tip, a little word of wisdom. Uh, I think that life gets really busy sometimes. I think one good thing for you to take with you um, when you leave Cal High is to slow down and just take things in and conversations you have with people, make them count and try to not be in a really big hurry with things and uh, get the most out of the moments that you have. And I also wanted to say a favorite moment of mine um, in AP Psychology is when we do breakfast videos on the day of the final because we don't have to do a final that day. So that's a favorite memory and I just want to say goodbye to Class of 2013. Please come back and visit. We're going to be here still, so see you guys. Congratulations to the Class of 2013. I love you guys. Hopefully I'm gone with you. Bye. <laughs> No job is too menial for you as long as you do it with passion and give it your all. So make sure that whatever you do, you do it well. If I have any advice for the uh, graduating class uh, next year, make sure you guys don't take a class before uh, eight o'clock in the or at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, most likely, you're going to sleep through it, and you're probably not going to do well in that class. So take classes uh, in the afternoon. Class of 2013, you've been an awesome class. Uh, you've been a lot of fun to be around. We had a lot of jokes. Hopefully you learned something. I know that you will take away for the rest of your life, Grizzly Honor. Wherever you go, Grizzly Honor will go with you. Okay, once a Grizzly, always a Grizzly. Okay, and you will always maintain in this world a campus of camp. Memorable moment for the class of 2013 is hard to say for me because there's so many moments. I, I had many of you as freshmen in world geography. Uh, I was lucky enough to have a lot of you in American studies. And then finally, the first seniors I've ever taught um, in leadership. Uh, I, I think it's an amazing class, class of 2013, and we'll miss you very much. Hi, class of 2013. Um, congratulations and best wishes for the future. Some life advice. Don't ever forget who you thought you wanted to be when you were a little kid because you probably weren't too far off and that's sort of the secret to happiness in the future. So best of luck. We're going to miss you. Come back and visit often and say hi. So I thought that I would give you some advice that one of my high school teachers gave to me when I graduated from high school. He said, don't come back for one year, at least one year. Go out in the world. Do your thing and if don't think about what others are thinking about you or what you're doing. Just go out there and do what makes you happy. The only and then thing you I'll ever ask of you, you and then come back to God, I promise not to stop when I'm That's the look to you possibly like. Really, really hope my sincerest wish is that me and all of your teachers 
have prepared you for whatever lies ahead of you in your future. And I wish each and every one of you the absolute best of success. Um, and I hope that uh, you can look back fondly upon these years that you spent at Cal High. So good luck. My advice to all of you going forward is to always remember what's on the outside of someone is just a shell. What's on the outside of the guy behind the camera and guy in front of the camera and anybody behind me, that's just a shell. Judge people by their spirit. They have a good spirit, you go around them again. They have a bad spirit, stay away from them. It's that simple, but don't judge them by what's on the outside. Truly judge them by their spirit and you will have a very, very happy life regardless of what you do. Yo, what's up? Uh, we repping from Cal High, you know. Uh, bye, Cal High. Goodbye. Congrats, class of 2015. Goodbye, Cal High. Um, I will see you in the future. And Joey Holden, I'm watching you. And seeing everyone in 25 years at a reunion. Every day. Bye, Cal High. It's been fun. Bye, class of 2013. I'll miss you. It's been a nice journey with all of you. Bye, senior class of 2013. I'll miss you all. It's been a great four years, and I can't wait to come back and see everyone here. Later, guys. Wow. All right. He's out. Class of 2015. See you out in life, and yeah, good luck. Bye. Remember, everyone. It's the third world, not your world. <laughs> Bye-bye, friends. Remember, it's third world, not your world. Third!